Hey beautiful people, it's your girl Brit Jokes. I am so excited. <laughs> I love doing these Starbucks taste tests and I'm already acting like a crackhead because I know I'm about to get fueled with a whole bunch of caffeine. So I'm hyped. <laughs> with that being said, spooky season is among us, even though this whole year has been scary. <laughs> but it is now fall and with that comes new Starbucks drinks. And I did my homework. You could thank me later. <laughs> In case you guys don't know, there's like hundreds of secret menu drinks that you can get from Starbucks. Secret menu simply means if you go to a Starbucks, you're not gonna find these drinks at the Starbucks. That's why they're a secret. Shh. But I digged deep and I came across some fall themed drinks and they sound so delicious. So I can't help myself. I have to try these drinks. All right, so I'm gonna head over to Starbucks order these drinks and let's get to the bottom of this also before we get started don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up also make sure to enter my giveaway so i'm doing a huge giveaway on my instagram once my instagram hits 5,000 followers so there's two easy steps to enter just subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram and that's it you are automatically entered into my giveaway the last giveaway i gave out apple airpods a polaroid camera James Charles palette, Jeffree Star palette. I don't play when it comes to my giveaways, so make sure to enter. Let's get this party started. All right, guys, we got the drinks. The struggle was real. I had to go to three different Starbucks because the first two didn't have all the ingredients. So finally, the third one had everything that I needed. So the first one I'm gonna be trying is called the Butterscotch Frappuccino. Right here are the ingredients. If you guys wanna order this drink, Oh my goodness, it smells like one of those pumpkin spice candles. It tastes just like butterscotch ice cream. It is so good. Surprisingly, I thought I was gonna taste like pumpkin in it. It does come with pumpkin sauce, but I don't really taste the pumpkin. Honestly, it just tastes like straight up butterscotch. <laughs> this is amazing. I would give this like an eight or a nine. All right guys, moving on to the next drink. This is the one that I'm excited about the most. It is called the pumpkin cheesecake frappuccino. First of all, cheesecake is my favorite type of dessert and it just sounds amazing. <laughs> right here are the ingredients if you want to order this drink. This does not taste good. What did they do here? Maybe I need to stir it. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> and I'm in denial, guys. I thought this was gonna be out of this world amazing, but that first sip was terrible. I think they might have put a little too much pumpkin spice. It definitely doesn't taste like cheesecake. That's for sure. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like a pumpkin pie that's been left in the oven for too long and it's just burnt. A burnt pumpkin pie. That's exactly what this tastes like. Oh my god, this is horrible. <laughs> canceled. Pumpkin cheesecake frappuccino has been canceled. I'm gonna have to give this a one. All right, guys, moving on to the next drink. Proceeding with caution because I'm traumatized <laughs> from the last drink. This one is so cute. I don't know if you guys know this by now, but green is my favorite color. So I love the way this drink looks. It's so pretty. This is called the Frankenstein Frappuccino. Right here are the ingredients. If you want to order this drink. Ooh, this one's pretty good. Mm. It's literally mint chocolate. Like you ever had those yolk? I always call it yolk. <laughs> the York. Have you guys ever tried the York chocolates? It tastes just like this. If you guys are a fan of mint chocolate, this is definitely the drink that you should try. And I love the name. It's so festive. Frankenstein. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I noticed that when I start giggling a lot, that's when I know the caffeine just hit. 
I would rate this about a 9 or a 10 because you can taste every single ingredient perfectly. I love how you can taste the green tea and then you can also taste the chocolate and the mint. So it's a really good mix and it's sweet but it's also like refreshing because you get that green tea and that mint flavor added to it. So it's really unique and it's pretty good. All right guys, for the next drink we have a coconut milk pumpkin macchiato. I already know by now that I need to be careful with macchiatos because they are super strong. <laughs> right here are the ingredients if you want to order this drink. Girl, hold on. <laughs> I think we're gonna have another pumpkin cheesecake situation. Let me just stir this up a little more. <laughs> See, the thing about macchiatos is if you don't stir it good enough, you're not gonna get the full experience. Like you need to make sure it's mixed really good because a lot of the ingredients just fall to the bottom. So. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Stir! Stir, 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 stir. Crackhead mode has been activated. Honestly, this is not good. <laughs> I don't taste the pumpkin sauce at all. It tastes just like a regular iced coffee. There's nothing special about this. It doesn't even taste like a macchiato. This is weird. Moment of silence while we cancel this drink. Hi, you have been canceled! I mean, unless you just want a regular iced coffee experience, then go right ahead with this drink. But honestly, it is so boring and I'm ready to move on. Hi, I'm breaking up with you. It's over. All right, guys. Lastly, we have this drink called the Fall Mashup Frappuccino. Basically, it's like all the flavors of fall mashed up together into a frappuccino. So if you guys wanna order this drink, right here are the ingredients. I feel like it's a little too sweet. Like it tastes, ugh. Don't get me wrong, I love sweets, I love desserts. I have an extreme sweet tooth, but I'm not really feeling this one. I don't know why, but this reminds me of candy corn, which that is like the worst candy in the world. I don't even know why, who invented that. And can you believe there's actually people out there that like that candy? <laughs> that is gross. Looking at the ingredients right now, it has pumpkin sauce, toffee nut, caramel, mocha, sea salt, vanilla. Honestly, I think there's just two much going on like it's overboard and sometimes when you just put too much together it just ruins everything i need to stop torturing myself because i'm already starting to get a stomach ache <laughs> out of all the drinks the only ones that i liked were the butterscotch frappuccino and the frankenstein frappuccino all the other ones can go straight to the garbage <laughs> Honestly, I'm shocked. I'm surprised that these drinks didn't turn out the way I thought they would. I thought they were going to be out of this world, super delicious. And especially because it's fall season, you know, it's like you want to drink these type of drinks. But it's just not going to happen. <laughs> not if they taste like that. All right, guys, my body is like 99% caffeine right now. I need to go and do something with all this energy that I have. Maybe I'll go run around my block a couple of times. I don't know, but I feel like a crackhead. Anyways, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll catch you on the next one.